Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are playing Lifeless Planet on PS4. Now, like I mentioned before, I want to stay kind of like a... Uh, I have a big interest in space games, so I want to play the space games that are on offer on the PS4. Uh, of which there are not many. Now, I'm going into this game completely blind, have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I took a look in the options, there's no volume options, no subtitles, so... I'll try and be quiet over any uh, cutscenes until we get that figured out. So like I said, I'm playing this completely blind. Don't really know anything about it other than that it is a sci-fi slash space game that's available on PS4 on the PSN store right now. I bought it a while ago, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I'm pretty sure I bought it on sale, so I couldn't tell you what the price is on it. It seems like any space or sci-fi game, it starts with a crash. Alright, so what are the buttons? X is jump. Triggers don't do anything. Got a flashlight. Okay, so circle is our menu. Alright. So I guess we need to explore and figure out what's going on. No map, no objectives, nothing to tell you where to go. Crap, an oxygen leak. Oh. Oh, there's something over there. You can't really fly or float. Oh. Well, I guess a little double jump. Kind of float a little. Are we gonna die? I hope not. Let's make it. Looks like a little pod over here. Come on, come on, just make it. Eight hours remaining. And not if we're leaking, I guess. Interact. Oxygen supply vehicle model 8A. These v supply vehicles will be sent to the planet three days in advance of the landing party to provide for the longer excursions on the planet's surface. However, because unmanned probes have determined the planet is rich with life and oxygen levels on the planet are near Earth levels, these supply vehicles may not be needed. Okay, so a little bit of story there. So these were sent ahead, so we're planned mission here. I just hope we're going in the right direction. If there isn't even if there even is a right direction. I understand that even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take fifteen years. That's right. We'll be traveling so fast our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still such a long trip. We'll be put into a sort of coma. Our heart rate will be slowed dramatically to minimize aging during the flight. How do you prepare for this one-way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth? Oh. Well, I have a volunteer never returning. Of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new. And frankly, we also have few attachments here on Earth. Alright, so I must be going in the right direction. So we were sent here... I guess in this world they've mastered FTL travel faster than light travel. Oh! Oh, that's bad. That probably seems obviously scripted like that was supposed to happen. What's going on? We got plant life. Mostly. They mostly came out at night. Mostly. 
So everything about this transmission is a disaster. Uh, everything about this mission is a disaster so far, and the lander took a beating, and with it most of the equipment. My suit is functional, but barely. The jetpack can still put out a single burst, which is useful for her short jumps. I find I get the most distance when I trigger the burst at the top of my jumps. All right. So the log is like a tutorial. So it's explaining to us how to get out of here. So I guess we are going the right way. Even if I mess that up. Alright, let's go back. So again, like I said, I'm going in complete. Oh, come on. Going in completely blind, so I don't even know what the, if the backstory is to this game. Or to the story, I guess. It's probably going to be explained as we go from the sounds of it in those little sound clips and memory logs. It looks like there's a memory, another log right there. Why are there no signs of life on this planet? Well, I was following a trackway left behind by my crew, but got separated from their trail. Hopefully I can make my way around. Okay, so our crew is here somewhere? In the meantime, I still can't understand why this planet is barren and lifeless. Our remote observations were conclusive. This planet was rich with life. So where did it go? Maybe we just dropped in the wrong spot, but initial readings aren't coming up with any trace of biological activity. Okay. So we were sent here with the expectation of this being a planet full of life and colonize. And then we get here, what, 15 years later, it said? And everything's gone to shit. Maybe, hence the title of the game, Lifeless Planet, maybe, I'm guessing. So we need to figure out the mystery of what happened. I don't even know if I'm going the right way anymore. Do I want to push it? I'm guessing I want to push it, but where do I want to push it? What does this do for us? Okay. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this rock. Oh, it kind of looks like it fits there, but I don't. That's where we're supposed to put it. Come on, come on. No idea. Right, this is where I came in, right? I need to get up there somehow. Oh. Okay. Can I get the rock out of here? Or did I screw myself? No. Nope. All right. Good. Oh, uh, low gravity physics. Come on. Come on. Alright, so we need to push this boulder over here. Jump on top of it. Jump on top of it. J jump on. Jump on top of it. Oh, I broke the game. Come on. And. Alright. Maybe a little closer. And there we go. Alright, moving right along. Alright, another checkpoint, that's good. It's good to know we're going in the right direction when it doesn't give you the direction to go. And we don't appear to be taking any damage from that. It just slows our movement, which is good. I don't even know if there is health in this game, or if this is going to be just another drift where we're along for the ride and just got to keep our oxygen full. Oh, excuse me, but I guess we'll find out together. Oh, that's life, isn't it? Those are frogs, right? Or fish? Something. So there's still life here. I saw grass in that cave. There's frogs in the water. Going this way. On top of the waterfall. Anything up here? Nope. 
nothing there. Oh, music's changing, that's a good sign. Oh, there's something up there. More oxygen. Oh, shit. That's scary. I wonder if those have any effect, if they actually do anything, or if that was just a holy shit moment. Oh, must have just been a holy shit moment. Here we go. Ruski. All right, American flag on the backpack. Did the front of his suit say USSA? Did I read that right? I wonder if that's going to be important. Oh, power lines. What is going on here? What is going on here? Let's see if we can get them. Is it ISSA? Put an American flag on the back. Hmm. I wonder what the story is there. I wonder if we'll get any backstory on the condition of Earth and why we left and why it was so important to weave. Send people on a one way trip. What All right, is the point of all this? All right, so for 15 years I hung in cryo like a bag of frozen, forgotten frozen vegetables. That's what they said, anyway. They played us real good with that story they spun. Another planet, suitable for housing human life. Can't believe I fell for it. I actually have to compliment, I actually have to compliment them on the lack of oxygen. That's a really nice touch. Of course, they probably just tampered with the meters. I bet I could take off my helmet right now. Is that what this is? A test to see how long it takes us to break protocol? I'm not some rocket jockey kid playing at being an astronaut. What in the world is the point of all this and where did they take my crew? Need to stay calm. My head is still spinning from the crash. Probably need a doctor. I bet they think that's funny too. Alright, so we're starting to lose our minds a little bit. Think we're being uh, watched. Okay, so we're clearly not Russian ourselves. I found a Russian passport and this appears to be a Russian flag. How is this possible? Or a Soviet flag, anyways. So the Russians beat us here and built a whole city? Is this not an international mission? They got a whole city, they got power grid. Anyways, they got power lines. Maybe that trackway will lead me to my crew. Well, maybe. Grain silos and everything. So we're losing, hitting the edge of the power lines here, so... I wonder... Oh, no. See another row up there. There must be something going on at this green silo. A dirt devil. That can't be good. That can't be good. Okay, it's following me. Come on. That's not fair. Get in. Get in the building. Get in the building. There you are. Are you okay? Oh, he looks pretty bloody. He doesn't look very good. Listen, we're almost out of oxygen. I'm pretty low myself, but I'm gonna give you everything I can. Oh, what a good guy. I think there may be some air canisters in that town. Okay, you're gonna be all right now. Just hang in there, buddy. We'll figure this out together, all right? Whoa! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! What the hell? Did we stumble into the town from Tremors? What's going on here? First half of code for access to Southern Laboratory, 331. In keeping with security protocol, protocol, this portion of the security code must be kept separate from the other half of the code, auto-translated from Russian. 
Was he Russian? I thought I saw a German flag on his shoulder there. Okay, so I guess we don't need to go back to town for oxygen canisters. Alright, and those weren't power lines. That's a fence. Maybe we're supposed to go back to town anyways. That seems to be... there's something over there. So we'll head off in that direction. Because we don't need to go get oxygen for our buddy. So what's this? This is a graveyard. Uh oh. These graves seem pretty makeshift. Like they were in a hurry to bury the bodies. Discovered a location of makeshift graves outside the town. Whatever and wherever this place is, it seems didn't things didn't end well for the inhabitants. Am I running out of oxygen while I'm just standing here? Holy shit. Alright. Run run run. Hopefully there's something over here. So I don't see anything else around. No, we didn't make it. Son of a bitch. What was that? And we got a trophy. What was that? I don't know. What was that? Alright, so what now? I do not know. Well, I guess we'll find out together. On the next time on Lifeless Planet, this has been Tall Yoda in hijinks in Lifeless Planet on PS4. So stay tuned. If you like what you see, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more in the future before we die here again. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.